Recently, we've seen the Comac CR929 emerge as competition for the already existing Airbus A350 and Boeing 787, but could that be looking to increase with a brand new concept? Stay tuned to find out about this new wide-body aircraft that could be coming to the aviation industry. Bibula 51, turn right, heading 180. Bibula 14, Papa, turn right 245, report localizer established to you. SE Aeronautics describe themselves as the leaders in air travel sustainability and in doing so have launched their very own concept aircraft that would slot in the wide body sector of the aviation industry and would mark a new era for mid range and medium to high capacity aircraft. As they call it the SE 200, it would seat up to 264 passengers and would be able to fly for some 10,560 miles. With a length of 140 feet and a span of some 116 feet, the aircraft in addition would have a cruising altitude of some 50,000 feet and harbours a unique wing design that almost sees three sets of two for wings. Each side of the aircraft would have three separate wings, if you will, to make up a total of six, if that makes sense. The aircraft would also have two efficient engines while having a state-of-the-art bulk container for maximum shipping loads as described by se aeronautics themselves on top of this they say that this new wide body would also have a full length composite fuselage which means for safer and stronger air travel while in addition having less maintenance than other aircraft that it is intended on competing with as tyler matthew who is the ceo of the company describes it the aircraft will be the most practical profitable and permanent solution to the grossly underperforming airliner technology of today. Our manufacturing efficiency will allow us to produce our aircraft in significantly less time than the current traditional method, but the jewel in the crown is really our ability to get the fuel consumption rate down by 70%. We are going to revolutionise this industry. Pretty bold claims if you ask me, feel free to drop your thoughts on what Tyler said in the comment section below but I think the direct attacks at aircraft nowadays is quite interesting considering I firmly believe a concept like this will probably not get off the ground. SE Aeronautics also put focus on the current global pandemic when it comes to a new once through air feed ventilation system that is on the aircraft. It means that the air is never recirculated through the cabin and it therefore will dramatically reduce the risk of exposure for passengers on board to potentially dangerous viruses. Changes in addition to a new seat design as described by the company, note that the lifespan of the aircraft can be doubled in comparison to other aircraft within this very same market. As for the fuel, they note that it is not stored in the wings, but rather in self-sealing bladders that are located directly on top of the fuselage, which means, as they note, in the event of an emergency, the aircraft would indeed be able to float. Lloyd Weaver, who is the chief engineer of SE Aeronautics, also commented on their technology and aircraft, noting, Our innovative technology and new aircraft design will lower fuel consumption by 70% and lower CO2 emissions by 80% as measured by per seat kilometre. The innovative design is a more efficient, light tri-wing configuration that greatly improves lift over drag, resulting in short takeoff and landing capabilities and extremely long flights. The construction is all composite, moulded into one tough, safer piece. We also incorporated super thin, long wings and complete streaming from the nose to the tail. We did it all. Once again, a bold claim saying we did it all for just a concept if you ask me. Of course, that has to be translated into an actual aircraft. I'd be interested to hear your take on this new concept though, known as the SE200. Is this actually going to be a wide body that both Airbus and Boeing and even Comac have to deal with well into the future? Or is it another one of those pipe dreams that is simply a concept and will forever remain a concept, never getting off the ground? Let me know down below, and as always, thank you very much for tuning into this video. I hope you found the concept and me explaining it interesting. Until the next one, take care and stay safe.